Welcome to the hottest car reviews proudly brought to you by carshop.co.za with your host Luke Preston, our local motoring enthusiast, bringing you the best reviews right here, right now. So be sure to visit our website for the best deals and latest offers. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode on Car Shop Drive. Today we're checking out probably the funkiest, weirdest looking crossover money can buy. It's a Citroen C4 Cactus. That there is the Citroen C4 Cactus. And apart from a very futuristic design, it's got quite an interesting party piece, which if you haven't seen in action, I'm going to demonstrate for you now. It's called air bump technology. So when an ignorant driver like myself here yeah, parks too close to your car and just accidentally opens their car door, what usually happens is a nice bump or scratch which is left on the car. Not so in this case. These little pockets of air are basically an automotive version of bubble wrap. And what they do is provide protection against minor knocks and scratches like what I've just demonstrated just now. You can have your air bump strips in four different colors, dune, chocolate, stone gray, and black. Meaning you can customize your C4 Cactus to your heart's content. Bubble wrap cladding aside, the C4 Cactus is probably the most funky looking crossover you'll find on the market today. And when compared to the weirdest looking car of similar nature, it really does look like nothing else that you can buy. Jump inside the Cactus and you'll notice a super minimalistic interior. That funky exterior carries over to quite a minimalistic, equally funky interior, which is dominated by the seven inch touchscreen. You'll notice that almost every button that you would normally see on a car is completely gone in this car. Everything instead is control through the 7 inch touch screen. Apart from this volume control button here and front and rear demister central locking and your stability control and hazard lights. There's just enough space in the back even with me sitting behind myself so to speak. Although headroom is pretty tight. One of the more quirky things though are these rear side hinged windows which is sort of becoming a hallmark on some Citroen models. The boot is pretty big though. You'll at least get a full size pram in it and at least a month's worth of chopping. Unfortunately, the rear back seat doesn't split 60-40 or even 50-50 like some models and flipping it forward is a bit of a mission. It also doesn't fold completely flat so loading bigger items might be a bit of a problem. The Cactus is not a small car and considering the tiny little engine it's super impressive. Driven through a five-speed manual gearbox, which has perfectly spaced ratios, this little cactus is quite a fun thing to drive. There's plenty of torque. It feels way more than the quoted 205 newton meters. Even at low revs and fifth gear, it just picks up and goes. This is the top of the range 1.2 Shine Cactus and comes well stocked with standard specification. Climate control, multifunction steering wheel, onboard computer with multi-information display, cruise control, Bluetooth and auxiliary connectivity, navigation system, rain sensing wipers and automatic headlights with LED running lights, park distance control, front and rear, and a reversing camera all concluded as standard spec. That's it for another episode. Make sure to check us out in the comments, like us on Facebook, check us out on Twitter. Also visit carshop.co.za for brand new specials on cars, used cars, so check it out. We'll see you next time.